Now that we've got our shark under control, we need to prepare something for it to eat. A small edible fish. So I'm going to add another sprite. Just like I did before, choose new sprite from file. And in the animals category, we have various little fish we can use. I'll go with fish 4. I need to resize it to make sure it'll fit inside the shark's mouth. And I also want to make sure that when he bounces off the wall, he doesn't turn upside down. So remember this little button here. OK, now we need to write a script for the edible fish. The edible fish will have its own script to control it. I want the action to begin when the green flag is clicked. So I'm going to use a control block, when green flag clicked. And I want the fish to keep moving until the shark touches it. So I'm going to use a slightly different block here, repeat until, and then a sensing block to repeat until we are touching sprite 1, namely the shark. And the commands that I want to repeat inside this looping block are to move. So we'll have a motion block. Move, let's say four steps. And let's not forget as well that we have to check if he's touching the wall. So if on edge, bounce. Let's give this a go first and see what happens. My shark is moving my little fish is moving. And at the moment, the fish will keep moving until it touches the shark. What I actually want to happen is the fish to disappear, as if it's been eaten. So let's sort that out. All I need to do this time is to hide the fish. Give it another go. Shark is moving, following my mouse pointer, the fish is in motion, and when the fish touches the shark, it disappears. If I run the game again, that little fish is no longer there. I've hidden him. So there's one more thing I need to do, is to make sure that he appears when we start. So I'm going to use a show block right here. Let's see what we've got now. The fish appears, the shark is moving. When the shark eats the fish, he disappears.